Hey guys, what's up? It's Plasma Punch, John Welch, and um, we have a little discussion about Tarantino's next film project about Charles Manson. Mm -hmm. um, this seems like a perfect marriage in a really weird yeah. way. It's factual, which makes it a bit yeah, strange yeah. for Tarantino because he does like go beyond the he does. factual it's, it's, side. He of does. He does like the cartoon sort of over the top. Yeah, violence. it is. Yeah, but well, this this is like really like. The murders and everything is so messed up that you would think that they were Tarantino. Like if somebody described this to you, yeah. you'd tell you it was a real thing. You'd think, like, yeah, this is a movie. This is real over the top well, violence, and it's. Well, I think that's what bothers me the most is because it's such a perfect marriage. Yeah. And it it, it does, it's going to take away from the actual horrific events I, that I happened think, in real life. I get you. I get what you mean. And a lot of people have been saying, like, um, will he keep it in his style, or will he adjust his style to change, to make this film the way, you know, I think people would probably want it to be made, or is he going to no. try and keep it to his style? I think. Let's just, just address one thing style. real quick. This isn't the first Charles Manson film. No, there's been there's, there's been, been a, a few. few. Even during the court dates, there was two films in the works yeah. when they were acting in trial for yeah. this thing. So. So we're not saying that, oh, no, no, we should, we should leave this guy, but it's just scary that it's, mm. it's, um... He's going to do something different with it, though. Mm. I don't think, because also, like, is he going to focus on the actual murders, or is he going to have the murders in the backdrop of the of the film, like, and intertwine a story within. I don't think so. I, I, I think if, if you're gonna do it, yeah, subject matter would say you would have to cover the subject matter. Mm. You would have to. Yeah, I, I, I think it's gonna. It plays to his strengths as well mm. as, as a filmmaker. Oh yeah. Which is it's just, definitely. It's just absolutely fucking. Will he? Will <laughs> he? Will he do it as a straight egg and egg sort of film, or is he gonna try and do it like his his other films where he's made it quite. Oh, the timeline. Yeah, jumping is he, around. Is he gonna? Is he gonna? Is he gonna do a, a linear or is he non-linear? I think there could be a little bit of non-linear in it. Personally, I think maybe you might see the murders at the beginning, and then have the story follow maybe. kind of thing. You could do that. It would be interesting. You wouldn't see it all, but you would see bits and pieces, and then it would like intertwine maybe. But then again, is he gonna just go linear? Which you know. I don't think many of his films are linear, are they? Well, most... They're non-linear, most of his films are. Yeah, most, most of them are. Um, lately, though, he's been doing more linear well, stuff with hatefully, flashbacks. Well, hatefully, is, is, is kind of like that. And I think Django is, is quite like that too, isn't it? It's, it's more a linear storyline yeah, yeah. with bits and pieces intertwined within it. But, like, yeah. I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be uh, interesting to see. I, I think music's going to make a massive... Impact in it. Yeah, because, well, the, the because he's era. like, yeah, the, the era as well. Every era's got good music. Yeah. But I think it's Manson's love for music and Tarantino's love for music. Yeah. So I think that's going to play uh, like a big part. Where it's got to play Charles Manson is going to have to be really, yeah, charismatic. Yeah. Who do you think might play him? Would you? Who would, if you were if you were Tarantino now? Who would you cast as Charles Manson? I've got two. Oh, yes, I see you are. Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. Because he can grow a beard. It's not just because he can grow a beard, beard yeah. you know, but I think he would be pretty good. I think he's got the, the charismatic attitude. Plus, he's, he's involved in music as well, so he knows that culture. And I think the fact of, I think the names as well said that his mum mom and dad were like, um, what do they call them? Parents. Parents, yeah. I was trying to think of the, of the word, but it's hippies, hippies. hippies yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking maybe he knows a little bit about culture like that, and because of course the communes and stuff. So maybe he might be good. Also, Gerard Leto as well, because he, he 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 can grow a beard. And also, he's not a bad actor. And I think he would be pretty cool. You know, if you give him a bit of a push in the right direction, I think he might be a good good selection too. I'm just thinking of people who could. Possibly embody the role. I'm going to say Tobey Maguire because I've never seen him with a beard. And I think I have seen Tobey Maguire right. with a beard. 
Fair enough. <laughs> um, it was weird. But speaking about Jared Leto, it goes back. I, I watched a documentary about Charles Manson. Yeah. And in the comment section, somebody said he is the most like the Joker in real life. That yeah. Charles Manson. Yeah. Was. So that is, that's quite scary because it's like warm nutty. But everyone likes the Joker. Yeah. I but think, I, th I think yeah. you can like the Joker because he does like really yeah. horrible things. Um, you know, like him. Shoot Barbara Gordon and taking pictures of her naked to show yeah. her dad and stuff like that. And uh, oh, fuck the Alan Moore book. That's it, the killing joke. Um, but it's okay to like the Joker because the yeah. joke is fictional. Yeah. Whereas this, this goes guy, real. this guy's real. This this is what yeah. really. It's, this, this is what's got my like. He's a monster. Up. He's he is. He's he's, he's 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 a manipulative monster, which is which is you know, could it be kind of horror esque? In oh, a right. way, I don't think it you know, is. dark, you know, because because it is 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 a horrific, is a horrific tale if you think about it realistically. I oh, mean, it is, it is. Horrific. Sharon Tate, um, mar she was married to uh, Roman Polanski, yeah, and um, she was pregnant, eight months pregnant at the time, mm -hmm. and the, he got his his followers. These these are the followers. Yeah, right? they're the followers. They're the ones that did it. Tex Watson, Susan Askins, Linda Kasabian, and Patricia Ken Winkle. Ken Winkle. Which doesn't sound very threatening, but she well, probably they're, they're had all, they're, they're all um, white class, you know, middle, middle class, class people that you would not think are murderers. And, yeah. uh, but brainwashing. They were brainwashed, and um, uh, the documentary I saw, which I will put on the screen, yeah. I don't know what it's called. It's on YouTube, it's free, so I'll probably make yeah. it. Yeah. Um, the two of them, I think it was Susan Atkins and, and Linda Kasabian. They now regret it. They understand. You know, they they, they knew they, they were remorse. They got show remorse towards it. Yeah. Obviously, because obviously murdering a bunch of people I mean, in the way that they did. Way, yeah. Like the um, the Tate murders. There was over a hundred yeah. stab wounds. Um, yes. For the the bank the murders, it was, I think it was in the sixties or fifties. Yeah. Still, it's and that, still. That's only two people that they, they murdered in that one, and it's like, horrific. Yeah. It's this is this is this is really what freaks me out. It's kind of like, it's, it's so Tarantino esque. Yeah. That if you describe what happened. And you didn't tell me it was a real thing. You'd be like, oh yeah, this 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 is a Tarantino. Sounds movie. like a Tarantino film. Yeah, this, and I think it's going to glorify him, Charles Manson. Uh, maybe not to a new degree because he's always been yeah. like him. Um, yeah, well, follow him. He's he's, you you know, know, he's he's always had a following. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so crazy how he has such a following. Yeah. Well. Like still, and people that love him and sort of well, like, yeah, there was a girl called Star that, that wanted to marry him, and he did get engaged, and then he found out that. Um, when he died, she was going to put his like, coffin on display, oh, and that, that got rid of it. Like, I don't <laughs> like, like that. that. I don't like that sort of thing. I mean, <laughs> that angered him apparently because he thinks he's immortal. So yeah. you know. well, he, he, he's very freaky. Yes, could well be. Yes. Um, um, what was it? Um, we do know that there is like some tapes for um, Sharon Tate who might play her, and that's Margot Robbie and Jennifer Lawrence, which you know they they're e listers. They 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 they're, they're good. Good actresses yeah. as well, which could be cool. Brad Pitt could be possibly approached to play. Was it Vincent Bugle? Big Bugle. And we're going to put it at the bottom yeah. here. But it's his hat, so his, his surname. Bugliosi. Bugliosi, yeah. Maybe, that would be right. But he's the one who prosecuted the Manson family. Yeah. So I think there will be A class actors in this. Will Samuel L. Jackson be in it? He probably will be yes. somewhere in it. He's got to be in it. He's been in every single he, film, bar, restaurant. If you watch this Tarantino, he, Samuel Jackson, can play the um, Mar the, dr the drug dealer yeah. that Charles Manson kills and then gets like all fucking paranoid that the Black Panthers are coming after him. Oh, that's my challenge to you. Yeah, that's, that's my challenge cool. to you, cool. Quentin Tarantino. That'd be cool. You can't be Charles Manson. Obviously. No. But anyway. Yeah, and, and but he, he had the health of scale and movement yeah. was white versus black yeah. and that's what he was going for. This, this I think, Will be a really good film. I do think it'll be a good film. He's already written it, and you know, basically, he's, he's, he's I think he's there. I think he, I think he's got ideas of who he wants to be yeah. a player. I know the Weinstein's are involved in it, but not sure whether they're going to distribute it through the Weinstein company. But they will produce it. So it, you know, even though it's not going to be maybe produced through the Weinstein company, he will still have them on board because they. Well, this be is this is going to be a big movie. It's, work with him. It's already like. You know, Tarantino and Charles Manson, that's all we yeah. know, and it's already yeah. like it's a huge enough. discussion already. So if you haven't heard about it, then obviously well, it's like a <laughs> podcast. Yeah. Well, we're discussing Quentin Tarantino making a film about Charles Manson. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I'm, I'm, I like Tarantino, I'm a massive fan. I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing it, 
I don't like, like, you know, the actual, like, thing itself, man, the man's from family thing, because I hate things about cults, they mm. freak me out a bit, and it's also the oh, fact it's of, scary. Like, it is scary. how you can manipulate somebody to commit murder, to kill themselves, to kill family members, it's, it's disgusting, but it's something I think Tarantino can show us in a way that maybe we can sort of, like, say, well, we can understand what he's trying to show us, not that it's a good thing to do. Do you know what I mean? I think I oh, think it's it's something. I mean, Tarantino's always um, glorified the violence in his films to make to make but, show. Yeah, but know, they're so over yeah, the top. Yeah, it's, it's not show realistic. That you don't. You couldn't see it. Whereas this here is real, and it's going to be like a, I think it's a, it's a challenge for him because he's never touched on factual based. What about Inglorious Bastards? Have you seen that one? That that is that's that's I suppose it's loosely based on things I suppose that happened, mm. but it's it's over the top again. Like you know, it's like literally like you know, blowing bodies up. And, yeah, yeah. You know, it takes, um, it's 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 um, ultra violence. Although but, saying, saying that though, um, sorry to cut you off. there, yeah, no. With the there is sometimes like Mr. Blonde when he is not Mr. Blonde, sorry, Mr. Orange, Mr. Orange, Orange like yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, when he gets shot in the stomach, that's one of the few times on film this portrait that his shooting is actually really painful. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm really torn. I think it'll be a good movie. It will be good. But I am worried about smart and not smarting people up, but making more people aware of who I'm already about Charles Manson and glorifying him and. Or giving him, well, I suppose... I think he's a piece of shit. Yeah. Um, you don't give him... Um, you shouldn't give him a a, a, a a venue to be seen, basically, even like, you know, even if it is a dramatisation of it. You know, it's like history class. It's like, why the fuck do I have to learn about Hitler. Henry VIII? Not Hitler. Henry VIII. <laughs> um, but it's kind of like, well, you, you've got to know stuff so you, you can see it, it, it won't happen again, sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to torn on this. I'm so, so torn on this. Uh, I'll still watch it. Yeah. I love Tarantino. I think he will do it justice. But I don't like the fact that... I think, that I think that's the problem. Is like, Does it deserve justice? Does it, does it deserve <laughs> to give Charles Manson justice yeah. for, what he, for what him and his followers did? Well, no, it doesn't. Anything, anything film-based that's depicting uh, violence, graphic violence, and a murdering of people who didn't deserve any, anything, even if they deserved it, it's still showing us the darkness and disgusting backdrop of the world, which mm. basically, you know, this is this is depicted with Charles Manson and any other serial killer, murderer, and cult uh, leader. They're, 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 they're vile, disgusting people. Yeah. And it's probably, you know, it's not the best thing to be showcased in a cinema. It's going to be something that's going to be definitely aerated. It's going to be for, for, the, for, the, for, for, for all the people. It, it's not something I would expect. A fifteen-year-old child to see. I mean, there's so much in this that makes it. Oh, this is perfect for Tarantino. Yeah, I know. And then it's like, oh shit. But it shouldn't be. No. no. <laughs> Do you know but what maybe, I mean? maybe he he will he will show it in a different light. You know, he does. He's got a way of showing you different things of of showing you a story, which is why I'm thinking maybe it might be something like with um, Spike Lee's Summer of Sam. Have you seen that? Summer of Sam. It's, it's based on the the Son of Sam murders. Yeah, he's in the background. The the, the murders are in the background. It's more mm. of a telling of what's going on with the the people interlinked within things. It's not actually showing you too much of like everything to do with the murders. It's it's in there, but it's it's sort of like we're watching other people too. So it's going to be like the. The build-ups and everything, you know, maybe he'll do that. I don't know. Maybe he will, but then again, people might say he's just following what Spike Lee did. But um, it's, it's, it's hard because, like, really, like uh, Sharon Tate obviously was a big actress at yeah. the time, um, but she didn't really have anything to do with like the Manson family. Um, no, she was just she was unlucky. Yeah, she was just unlucky. So it's kind of like friends. you can't follow that story. For too long. Well, yeah. so I suppose you, you could a little bit it's, it, to it's get sympathy for tricky. her. It's going to be um, tricky. And the bank, uh, the blanket, look, the banker murders. Um, he was 
a manager of a grocery store. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's kind of like, well, they had nothing really to do with them. They were just sort of, well, they, the LeBanga were picked because um, Charles Manson went to a house party next door to them, like, uh, so he knew their house and sort of how to get in and shit like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a very, I mean, it's interesting thing to see. It's, what it's, comes it's, it's up interesting because it's it's not the norm of life. Um, so be. Oh, I don't know. I'm should we just leave I'm so, it? I'm so torn on this. Yeah. Should we just leave tell it? Us in, tell us in the comments what how you feel about this film. Yeah. Um, yeah. We 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 we're torn because we want to watch it, but we also don't want to give Glover. Yeah, well, thanks for watching this. Thanks for watching this. This has been quite deep for us. It really. has been quite deep for us. <laughs> Leave us a like if you're feeling deep too. Subscribe to us for more. And please, I, lo I love it to hear from more of you guys. We want to know what from, you think um, about yeah, this. Are um, we talking nonsense? Are we talking sense? Are we talking things that you want to hear about? Yeah. This is, this, is, this is something that, you know, should in interest. I think filmmakers, so. you know, up and coming filmmakers too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Yeah. 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 Thanks for watching, guys. It's fucking hot. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>